Praise the Lord. You clap as if there's something in your hand. Somebody shout tonight. Let everyone hear you. Tonight. Let those spirits in the peach, in the valley, in the jungle, in the bush, let them hear you tonight. I will recover it all. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe. Healing. Deliverance. Dominion. Salvation. Within you. Around you. Tonight. Everything that has been stolen away from you. Yesterday night. The ants came. Can you imagine ants stealing your decision away? Why you are doing this, doing that? Everything the ants have stolen away from you. You recover all tonight in Jesus' name. I welcome you here tonight. I'm so happy for you. That tonight will mark a turning point in your life. Father, we come to you knowing everything we have lost. Tonight, we recover it all in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, that your power will be manifested tonight. And anyone in any corner, in any place, here, over the radio, over television, online, YouTube, everywhere. Lord, I pray tonight, total recovery and total redemption for everyone. Confirm it, Lord, in Jesus' name. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Come to the next person around you there and say, we're recovering it tonight. Tell them, tell them, tell them, I'm recovering it tonight. Confirm to your life in Jesus' name. Tonight we're coming to Galatians chapter 3. You can sit down. Galatians chapter 3. And we're reading from verse 13. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed be everyone that hangeth on a tree. You remember how Christ was crucified. One thief, one evil man on the right, the other evil man on the ledge, and those two evil people condemned, dying on the cross, they represent the whole of humanity. You are either on this side or on that side. You are either on the side that says no to Christ, no to salvation, no to healing, no to deliverance, one side. Or you're on the other side that says yes to Christ, yes to salvation, yes to redemption, yes to heaven. Which side are you going to be tonight? On the one side, that thief on the cross said, are you the Christ? If you are the Christ, do this. Because we're all in the same situation. The other thief said, Are you talking like that? We are here suffering for our sin, confession. And then he turned to the Lord. He said, Lord, he submitted to the Lord. He said, I see you are suffering for me. You are my substitute. 
You are my savior. And the other one on the other side just kept quiet. I made his mouth like, no, not for me, not for him. But this one said, Lord, I believe by your dying on the cross, God in heaven has exalted you to be Lord, to be king, to be master, to be conqueror over every problem. And he said, Lord, you know, I like to get to heaven. I like to go to paradise. But I'm not worthy. I cannot take myself there. Here I am. I'm feeling guilty for my sin. Lord, can I make a request before we pass over? Remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said, today, somebody help me shout today. Tonight, somebody help me shout tonight. That man on the cross there, about to die, about to go to a lost eternity. The Lord said, today, you will be with me in paradise. And today, your redemption has come. Amen. You either say no, or you say yes. The other fellow said no, kept quiet there. And when he had the other one praying, wanting to be in the presence of God, he kept quiet. And his quietness is making him now to suffer on the other side forever and ever. But the man that says yes, the man that says, I'm suffering, I cannot blame God, I cannot blame society, I'm suffering for my sin, but I recognize that Jesus is Savior, is Deliverer, is Redeemer, and I call him Lord, the Lord of my little life that remains. He will get to heaven. I come for the people who are going to heaven tonight. Are they here? Where are they? Heaven. 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 I come for the people tonight that will say yes to Christ and yes to the Lord. Your amen and your yes will register in heaven. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us. For it is written, Cause such is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Look at verse 14. In verse 14, that the blessing of Abraham. Tonight is that night. The blessing of Abraham will come upon you. Amen. Salvation upon you, yeah. healing upon you, yeah. deliverance upon you, yeah. all the blessings, everything you desire to make you live a happy, healthy, holy, progressive life tonight. Tonight is that night. Yeah. Everything you have been desiring, longing for, seeking after, and they have been escaping you, stolen from you. The Lord will rebuke the thief tonight. Yeah. And then he will lavish upon you the blessings of heaven in Jesus' name. Yeah. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. That's the only way. The blessing will come through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. I praise God for his love for you, for his mercy on you, for his compassion on you, and for deciding that tonight, faithful God, mighty God, holy God, 
it will show his faithfulness unto you. Three things we're looking at tonight. Number one, the plague of retribution under the curse. The plague, the disease, the suffering, and the perdition as retribution under the curse. Number two, the price of redemption from the curse. Every curse in your life, if you say yes to the Lord tonight, every curse in your life, totally removed. Every yoke in your life, totally broken. Once you up, it's very simple. You know, to get lost, very simple, just say no. To get saved, very simple, just say yes. To be healed, very simple, just say yes. And to be delivered, very simple, just say yes. Because Christ has paid the price of your redemption from the cross. Number three is power. For redemption from every curse in your life, every curse broken, every chain shattered, every prison opened, every disease healed, every sin forgiven. I thought you were shouting, Amen. Because there's a power for redemption from every curse. Look at number one. Number one there says is the plague of prostitute of a retribution under the curse. I want you to look at Isaiah chapter 24. I'm reading from verse 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and faded away the forty people of their due language. It says the mourning, the sorrow, the suffering is all over the earth. The black, the white, the yellow, the brown, the people of the upper hemisphere, the people of the lower hemisphere the people at the equator every part of the world it says the earth mourneth and fadeth away well if you didn't know that before now you know because there is this covid 19 that has brought everybody to the same level people in america people in europe people in Asia, people in Africa, people everywhere. COVID has come to show the world that there is no exception. The earth's money, crime everywhere, evil everywhere, suffering everywhere, and people being under pressure and they do not know what they're going to do. Mental problem. Harassment of the devil everywhere. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. Great names, mighty names, high sounding names, all fading away. The world languishes and fadeth away. The forty people of the earth, the proud people of the earth who thought. Money is the answer. They are discovering money is not the answer. The money is there. There is no peace. The money is there. There is no joy. The money is there. And there is uh, no unity in the families. It says the 40 people, those who are 40 because of the place they live in the world, in their country. I live at a high hill. I live at a prosperous junction. I live here and there. All those people, the haughty people of the earth, the language, the people who are haughty because of education. Talk about education and talk about the multiplication 
of information. You know, in the past, information used to double uh, every perhaps uh, 50 years, but now within three years, education and information has doubled, and the people at the very top of information, information technology, and they say they know so much today. Anybody can know about any subject, just click on the line and Google that, and you have the knowledge you want to have. But with all that knowledge now, life is miserable. Life is under a curse. Life is full of suffering. Life is full of tragedy. And the mental problems and depression, they are multiplying all over the earth. Is the plague of retribution under the curse. But tonight is a night of deliverance. A night of relief, a night of redemption that all those things will have all over the world. A change is coming on the people that say yes tonight, and heaven will say yes to you. Yeah. It'll put a smile on your mouth, it'll put the goodness of God flowing into your life in Jesus' name. Look at verse 5. In verse 5, it says. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. You know, when we were young, we used to think the black people are the people who are defiled. They're simple. Why? Because we used to say that their faces are dark, so their hearts and their minds are dark. But now we know better. When you look at the people who are on the other side, civilized, enlightened, pornography is at the highest. And if you're looking at, you know, crime, it's at the highest. It's like the higher they go in knowledge, in technology, in all the civilized things of the world, the worse they become. And everywhere now, what we used to say illiterates, those who don't know alphabet, that they are innocent people. Now we know better people in the village, people in the city, people everywhere. Now we know everyone is defiled. That's why tonight you come to the Lord. And all your defilement, all you need to say, you say yes to Jesus, it will cleanse you up. It will convert your life. It will move your life to a higher plane in Jesus' name. The earth also, without exception, is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws and changed the ordinance and broke in the everlasting covenant. Sometimes when somebody does something that is not right, he feels that's just me. My little life, my, con my constrained life, my compressed life, my individual life, how does that affect you? Whatever I do. Have you ever thrown a pebble, a stone at a river? As the stone drops on the river, you see the ripples, the ripples, the ripples, and then your eyes are following, and it goes farther than you can see. That means all the things we do. That was saying that just me, I don't see it affect anybody now. We know better. When a pregnant woman takes hard drugs and also takes alcohol, now we know better it affects the baby. And the baby is born with deformities because the repercussion of the things we do, they affect everyone else and we transgress the everlasting covenant and it, that's the reason why when what we do transgresses the everlasting covenant 
then it has an everlasting consequence. And we come to understand that today, that the whole earth is facing the plague of retribution under the curse. And tonight, I will say yes to my Redeemer. Somebody there, I'll say yes to my Redeemer. What do you see? I will say yes to my Redeemer. What are you? I will say yes to my Lord. At the moment to say yes, all the problems are gone. I said, all your problems in particular, they are gone in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at verse 6 there. Verse 6 there says, therefore, at the curse, therefore, because of transgression, transgressing the everlasting covenant, therefore, at the curse, devouch the earth. And they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth, global, the inhabitants of the earth are burnt and few men left. You know, sometimes when you see a crowd like this, you see, looks like everybody is still there. Not everybody is there. If you are following the story of the world, the story of the earth, since about March of 2020, two years ago, already almost 500 million, 500 million have contracted COVID. 19. Of those who have died, more than 6 million, million, million people because there is the consequence of that thing that came upon the world. But tonight, the Lord is here to deliver you. Yeah. It's like many people fell into the well. All the people that fell into the well, they are struggling. And they are saying, I don't need help. I honor self-reliance. I don't need help. I honor self-preservation. I don't need help. I want to have self-management. And a voice comes from the top. There's a deliverer here. There is a redeemer here. There is a savior here. And all those people, they said, thank you very much. In the day of enlightenment, in the day of self-reliance, they were drowned. And then there's somebody there that doesn't mind what the other people are saying. And he's saying, I am here. I need deliverance by the works of my hand, by the effort of my life. I cannot deliver myself. I stretch forth my hand. Take me, Lord. The Lord will deliver you. Yeah. I said, the Lord will deliver you. Yeah. There is curse everywhere. But now I come to point number two. Point number two, the price of redemption from the curse. The price of redemption from the curse. Now the Lord... I've been watching you. Look at the river. The river is so wide. And the river is so deep. And when you started at the shore, when you were born, the commencement of your life, you looked at the river and you said, I live in the riverine area. And I can swim across. And you didn't know how far the edge of the shore was. And you started struggling and swimming. Before you got to one taste of the length you are to swim, already you are gasping for air. It's like you are, being, you are exhausted. And you look far and you say, can I make it? No person has made it without help from heaven. All the people who think, 
I'll go through, I'll swim over, I'll get there. They never got to the end, they drowned. But the people that look up, they send the helicopter up. And the helicopter is saying, when you are tired, when you know you cannot make it, look up, we're here. And you'll be delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. But you know the proud people that say, I want to be able to testify. I want to be able to say that I, by myself, I made it. Those people will drown before they get to them. But the people that say, I will not allow pride to hinder me and to stop me and to cancel my redemption. I'm going to talk to heaven. I'm going to say, I cannot by myself help me tonight. The Lord will help you. Amen. He will save you. Amen. He will heal you. Amen. He will deliver you. Amen. He will set you free. Amen. Look at Psalm 49. Reading from verse 7. Psalm 49. We're looking at verse 7. It says, None of them can by any means redeem his brother. A sister, daughter, or son, no give to God a ransom for him. Look at verse 8. For the redemption of their soul is precious and it ceases forever. Verse 49. In verse 49, that he, verse 9 rather, that he shall still live forever and not see corruption. What that means is, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. And if you say, yes, I'll die for myself, then you'll die, but you cannot rest all by yourself. That has to be done for you. Only one person without sin only one person without guilt. Only one person without any condemnation. And the father said, I am well pleased in him. He is the only one that will die for you and rise again. And he has done it. And now he paid the price for your redemption. Thank God tonight you'll have that redemption. We're looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. It says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? Look at verse 20. It says, For ye are bought with a price. Ye are bought with a price. He yeah, bought with a price. I'm sure you remember the days of the slave trade. Uh, masters will buy a slave for peanuts. They counted the lives of those slaves very cheap now. The slaves were not only in Africa, the slaves were also in America. The slaves were everywhere. And there's a story of somebody who had pity on the slaves. And he went to the slave owner and he said, how much does it cost? And the slave owner put the price and he paid the price. And he took that slave. Then he told the slave, after buying that slave, I didn't buy you to make you a slave to another man. I bought you to set you free. You are free. You are not a slave anymore. Christ knew that Satan held everyone like a slave. And he'll make them to drink their lives to death, smoke their lives to death, fight to death. 
they thought they were doing something good and strong and they will do things that will endanger their lives and Christ looked at the whole of humanity and he said that's a creature of my father that's a person a progenitor somebody coming in out of the hand of my father how is it that Satan the enemy of my father will enslave either with alcohol, enslave with violence, enslave with hard drugs, enslave with evil habits. I will, Satan, the arch enemy, enslave the creation of my father. And so he said, I'll pay the price for you. I'll pay the price for you there. And he came, all he came to do was to pay the price, the price of his life and the price of his blood. And now, whosoever will, let him come and tonight you are free. And Christ comes to you. He says, I paid the price for you. Will you accept me? If you say no, although he has paid the price, it will not force that redemption on you. You say, no, I want to be a slave of Satan. I want to be a slave of alcohol. I want to be a slave of marijuana. I want to be a slave of evil. He's a gentle man. He's a humble man. He's a lowly man. It will not force the redemption on you. You say, no, bye-bye. Whatever Satan does with you, that's your decision. But when you say, I've been waiting for redemption. I've been waiting for deliverance. And Christ says, now, tonight, I can bring total redemption unto you. And you say, yes, Lord, I am here immediately. You'll be saved in Jesus' name. He paid the price for you in particular. Don't bother how terrible you have been, how sinful you have been. He knew that and he still paid the price for you. For ye have bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are God's. Now, your entire life belongs to Christ who has bought you. I thought you would say amen. amen. Now, when, let's say for example, you have not had any child, and years are going, and you decide, I'm going to adopt a child. Then, you go to take a child and you pay the price and you adopt that child. In your mind, that child is yours 100%. You nurse know her, you cleanse her, you educate her, you do everything as natural child. The same thing as the Lord has paid the price for you. From today, he'll take care of you. Yeah. He'll take care of your going out. Yeah. He'll take care of your coming in. Yeah. He'll take care of your education. Yeah. He'll take care of your health. He'll take care of your spiritual life. And he wants you to be with him. That adopted child, when the father wants to write a will, the father will not say, It's an adopted child. But I'll give him some pennies so he can take care of himself. No, it says, it's my child. And everything he has, he will hand over to that child. You know what God is saying? Wants to say yes to Christ tonight. And you say yes, I want to be a part of the family of God. I want total redemption. Everything God has. Every good thing God wants to do, He will lavish His love upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. I can see your life now 
is going to be happy. I can see your life now is going to be healthy. I can see your life now is going to be a joyful life in Jesus' name. And then you too now, if that father picked the adopted child from the gutter, and the child knows, but now if a child of Mr. So-and-so, Madam So-and-so, that child will not live like I'm a gutter boy, I'm a child under the bridge, I'm a child, I was nothing. No, she's redeemed. He's redeemed. He will now put his hands in the pocket and I will say, I am the son of Mr. So and so in town. And you, after you've come to the Lord, you will not live in the gutter anymore. You will not live in your vomit anymore. You will not live in all those degrading, habitual lifestyle anymore. You will say, I am a daughter of a king. Am I talking about somebody there? I am a son of the king. And all heaven, the angels will look at you and they will smile and they will rejoice. Heaven will smile upon you tonight. I said heaven will smile upon you tonight in Jesus' name. Number three now. Number three, the power for redemption from every curse. The power. There's no power here tonight that can save everyone, that can heal everyone, that can deliver everyone, everyone that will say yes to Christ, yes to the Lord, yes to the Redeemer. The Lord has a miracle waiting for you. Where are you? Miracle. Miracle. Salvation, forgiveness, healing, deliverance. You know the miracles of God, how it takes place. You remember, I've mentioned it, part of it yesterday. Last month, February, we were in Taraba. Now, I've come to love that stage, Taraba. Somebody help me shout Taraba. We were in the capital city in Chalingo. And then, liberation. Liberation, redemption, redemption, liberation by Elsa, Taraba, Taraba by Elsa. Amen. And then, one of those days, somebody had goiter. In Bedouin stage, another stage. And then, as we spoke about liberation, and I prayed, and I mentioned the name of Jesus, our Redeemer, our Liberator, and then the people of God said, Final Amen. Amen. We opened our eyes, Goita was gone. That one is village clapping. If the Nagua is going to clap, give a clap offering to the Lord. Goita vanished away. Today, as we hear the final amen. Final amen. Final. Goita will vanish away. Yeah. And yeah, will vanish away. Yeah. Every swelling will vanish away in Jesus' name. Yeah. Now, in Benue itself, or at that crusade, a woman was preparing for the crusade, but the fibroid becomes so serious that 
There's nothing they could, they could do. They had to take her to the hospital. And the doctors examined her and they said immediately an operation must be performed. And then they dressed her, did everything they ought to do, and they gave her an hospital bed. She was in that hospital. But she had her phone on. And she saw on the phone, praise God for technology. I said, praise God for technology. Can I hear you? Praise God for technology. And she saw on her screen, we had not even started the crusade. She saw, they said, he has come. The GS has come. And then she saw all those people rejoicing. And she, on the hospital bed, started rejoicing. My pastor has come. My pastor has come. My pastor has come. Your pastor has come to you today. As she was rejoicing, she felt like going to the restroom, to the toilet. And then as she got there, as she stood like this, five birds came out. Tentacles, everything about the fibroid, everything came out. Now, redemption has come to you. The Redeemer has come to you. Call it any name. Fibroid, cancer, ulcer, blindness, deafness. Today, I'm pointing at you there. Today, it will go out in Jesus' name. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe, redemption will come in Jesus' name. Because he has paid the price. Look at this in Matthew chapter 28, reading from verse 18. Matthew chapter 28 reading from verse 18 and Jesus came and spake unto them saying all power how much power I said how much power power to save the violence of sinners all power power to heal the most deadly disease all power power to deliver from the strongest demon, evil spirit, all power. Power to dry up your Red Sea in front of you, all power. Power to provide for all your need, all power. Power to turn everything the right side up, all power. Power to destroy, power to break every yoke and every curse in your life. All power. Help me shout that all power. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. In heaven. Coming to earth. Every part of the earth. That power will set you free. Amen. Our redemption is fully provided all round redemption, essential redemption, present day redemption, fully provided. Now, what do I do? What do I realize? How do I embrace it that this redemption will be mine? All you need to do is just say yes to the Lord, our ransom fully paid for all. Ransom, ransom, ransom. And the people that took you into captivity and they said they'll destroy him, they will scatter him, they will blow him up. Now the ransom has been paid by Christ. You are delivered in Jesus' name. E Exodus, Exodus. All those children of Israel, 
they were in their millions and everyone without exception Moses said our day of redemption has come everybody exodus exodus exit come out now exodus freely proclaimed for all your time of exit from all that challenge that has now come the defilement formally purged from all all the things that came on you when you fell into that dirty well that dirty habit that dirty lifestyle and heaven can see you are dirty inside and you are dirty outside now defilement formally purged from all El Poggio tonight. E evil forever prevented from all. Evil from today, as we say yes to our Redeemer, no evil can come to your house anymore in Jesus' name. The Lord will stand as a girded soldier and any evil come in, he'll say, no, this house is protected by the bodyguard of heaven. This man is protected by the bodyguard of heaven. This woman is protected by the bodyguard of heaven. Go another way. Go to another place. They'll not come to you anymore in Jesus' name. Emma, miracles faithfully performed for all miracles faithfully performed for all that's redemption that's redemption when the miracle you need in your life miracle of salvation of forgiveness of freedom of healing of deliverance freely faithfully performed for everyone it will happen in your life p penitence favorably pardoned all penitents i will rise i will arise and go and i will say to my father father i am not worthy to be called any of your child any of your children but make me one of your hired servants and he arose and he came and the father saw him afar off and he ran and he met him and he embraced him and kissed him and heaven was happy because of him as you rise up tonight and you say lord here am i i say yes to my savior i say yes to my redeemer heaven will pardon you You'll be favorably pardoned everything you've done in Jesus' name. T transfer faultlessly perfected for all. Transfer, transfer. What does that mean? Your guilt will be transferred to your Redeemer. I didn't hear an amen there. Your condemnation will be transferred to your Redeemer. And the righteousness of Redeemer will be transferred unto you. And then, as we're going back home today, when you are coming, heaven looked at you and shook their head. But now, they will raise up a hallelujah chorus for you in heaven. He's forgiven. He's saved. The joy of salvation will be in your life because the redemption and the righteousness of the Redeemer has been transferred unto you. I, imputation, family promised for all. Imputation, imputation. The account, you are in the deficit in the rage. And Christ was rich, rich in grace and rich in power and rich in love and rich in mercy. And now, there is a transfer from the account of Christ to your account. Yeah. Love, grace, yeah. mercy, yeah. forgiveness, yeah. joy, yeah. identification with Christ. Oath, oath, 
fortrightly pronounced for all the Lord in heaven. He makes an oath. It says, whosoever will come to me, I will in no wise cast out. And it's the God who cannot lie. And I shall come tonight and say, yes, Lord, I give my life to you. I give my heart to you. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. That oath will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. And name finally prevailing over all. Name finally prevailing over all. At the mention of the name of Jesus, everything in your life that have been like a resisting power, all that will vanish away. That name will prevail in your heart, in your life, in your destiny, in your blessing, in your salvation, in your healing. That name will prevail. The time has now come. Your time has now come. You will not say no. You will say, you will not say no. What will you say? Yes, yes to Christ. Yes to redemption. Yes to forgiveness. And as many as will say yes to the Lord, for redemption will come to you tonight in Jesus' name. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. Already the price is paid. The ransom has been fully paid. And whoever, whosoever, will call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, shall be forgiven, shall be set free wherever you are you're saying yes to christ tonight you're saying yes to redemption tonight you're saying yes to forgiveness tonight you're saying yes to the provision of heaven for you tonight wherever you are raise up your hand there and your forgiveness will come immediately Anywhere you are, raise up that hand. You say yes, yes, yes to Christ, yes to His forgiveness, yes to His redemption, yes to His salvation. Yes, Lord, I am here. I need Your forgiveness. I need Your salvation. I say yes. Raise up that hand. Amen. God bless you there. God bless that hand. God bless that person. You're raising up your hand. Please stand up. Let heaven recognize you. That you tonight. You say yes to him. Yes to forgiveness. Yes to purging. Yes to quitting. All the bad things you used to do. And now you come to the Lord. And you say Lord. I'm here. A candidate for your salvation. Stand up there. As you're standing up and raising up your hand, tell the Lord, Oh Lord, I come. I come away from my darkness. I come away from my evil. I come away from all my sins. And I bow, I beg, I submit, I surrender, I say yes to you. I will not go the way of evil anymore. Lord, receive me. And the Lord will say, today, your name will enter into heaven. Congratulations. I say congratulations. I say congratulations to you. Raise up that hand and pray with your Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. For all those who are saying yes to Christ right now. 
yes to your salvation yes to your forgiveness yes to your freedom i pray pardon forgive all their sins in jesus name yeah. salvation come to them freedom come to them forgiveness come to them lord as we have said yes to you that you are now their savior their lord and redeemer write their names in the book of life in heaven it is done it is done it is done in jesus mighty name we pray keep on standing our counselors will see you there they'll give you the slip to feel you are now a member of the kingdom of god and after this we're not going to pray after we finish this and from the top of here to the tip of your toe healing deliverance will come to you all amen Counselors are there with us. The counselors are there with us. Don't sit down yet. Don't sit down yet. Stand up and let the counselors minister to you. You have made a decision to follow Jesus Christ, and that's a very important person to the Lord. And from today, you are very special to the Lord. You are welcome to a new journey with the Lord, a new family with the Lord, and you are a special person. And so our counselors are there with us, and they are there to help us take down our names, our addresses, and our phone numbers. So wherever you are, Just give them your name, your particulars, all those things. It will help us to help you to continue in the faith you have in Christ. And if you are watching online and you just gave your life to Christ after this pastor's message this evening, just visit the link showing on the screen that link you will click on it and you can fill the form that comes up so we can assist you further in your new work with christ also if you are listening via radio and television and you just gave your life to christ send your name your phone number and your location address via sms or whatsapp to so this number, plus 234-915-444-9263. That's the number again, plus 234-915-444-9263. And you send your particulars to us to help us to help you. And there will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their lives to Christ. This uh, next week, Sunday, 3rd of April, 2022. More details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Thank you. Uh, we want you to keep on standing if you have not been attended to our counselors are just by your side please counselors endeavor to attend to everybody don't leave off anybody by Esa believers banquet on 3rd of april 2022 at deeper life campground by 3 p.m and in all the locations uh, that are found at the back of your program and so you look at the back of your program you'll see those locations there 
a package is being given to you now, and in those uh, packages, you will find a letter written by our general superintendent to you, inviting you to this banquet. And uh, don't forget to attend. You also, tomorrow, by 3 p.m., there will be a banquet for you, uh, meet the Lord Jesus Christ. There will be lunch hour with Christ by 3 p.m. tomorrow in this place, uh, the University Auditorium. And so when you come, find out about the University Auditorium. We shall be there waiting for you. And the Lord will enable you to keep your faith. Lord will help you. So our counselors, please, if you have finished, please can you uh, wave your hand to me. Just raise your hand. At the far left, please, if you have finished, can you raise up your hand and wave your hand to me so that we know you have finished. Supervisors, please, can you do so? And uh, while the counselors are checking up to make sure they have uh, finished attending to you, those of us who are expecting God to touch them, don't forget that tonight God is going to visit you. Something great, something mighty, something powerful is going to happen to you that will completely change your situation. Counselors, please be there. Counselors, still be there. Please, as you attend to them, uh, you hand over your uh, cards to your supervisor. You are there. Uh, just say uh, in front, you will see a basket there where you put the cards. And please, you will stay behind there with the people because the Lord is going to visit them tonight and you are going to help us to bring them out for testimonies. Just identify those who are having problems, those who are lame, those who are blind, those who are paralyzed, those who are deaf and dumb, those who are paralyzed. Just identify them. There is recovery coming to you tonight. Believe God as the man of God will be praying Please let me check up again, supervisors. Okay, thank you very much. At the central part, yes, thank you very much. At the uh, near right here, it, please, supervisors, wave your hand. Thank you very much. At the far right, please, supervisors, check up, check up. Thank you very much. We shall rise up together now, and the time of miracle has arrived. Put your hands together. That's good. Tonight, the Lord will give you back everything you have lost. Our God is faithful. Our God is mighty. Our God is powerful. Our God is holy. Everything He promised you is going to fulfill tonight in Jesus' name. Healing has come looking for you. Yeah. Deliverance has come searching and looking. Where is it? Where is she? Looking for you. Miracle has come from heaven looking for you. That miracle will locate you now. Yeah. And when you hear the final amen, that miracle has come. That healing has happened. Amen. That deliverance has happened. Amen. I want miracle to locate me. If you are the one, raise up your hand. I want healing to locate me there. Anywhere you are, if you are the one, raise up that hand. Deliverance from all afflictions of the devil. Locate me now. 
it has located you. And when you hear the final amen, check up, it has happened. Father, in Jesus' name, we well, thank you tonight because it's a night of redemption, night of healing, night of deliverance, night of breakthrough, and the night of removing every curse, every yoke from everyone. I come on behalf of everyone and I pray their healing, their deliverance, their miracle will locate them right now. Fulfill it in Jesus' name. That insanity madness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Swelling any part of your body, come out in Jesus' name. Blindness, glaucoma, whatever covers your sight, come out in Jesus' name. Deafness and dumbness, whatever brings the impediment to your speech, come out in Jesus' name. Internal disease, cancer, ulcer, leukemia, bleeding, pile, hernia, pain, come out in Jesus' name. Pain at the joints, pain at the back, couldn't bend, couldn't stand, couldn't move, I command your pain, whatever source, come out in Jesus' name. Curse in your life. Christ has broken the yoke. He has taken the curse away from you. Away from your head. Away from your body. Away from your wife. Away from your husband, away from your children, away from your family. Curse, come out in Jesus' name. The anointing breaks the yoke in every one of your lives today. Lord, I pray those broken bones join together right now. Lame. We that hands and legs be healed in Jesus' name. That heavy fire brought there, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. Miracle has located everyone. Healing has located everyone. Deliverance has located everyone. From my right to that corner there, to my front, to the left, to that corner there, over the radio, over the television, online, everywhere now. Let everyone's miracle locate them right now. Fulfill your word. Perform your wonders. And let the healing and deliverance and everything called miracle be visible everywhere right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. Check up yourself. Check up yourself. Your miracle has located you right there.